Being a personal stylist is not something Lisa Whiteside thought she would be doing when she began her career in banking over 25 years ago. But when she started working for House of Colour, her passion for colour and fashion became her full-time career. 25 years ago, when I was working in the banking industry, um, one of my colleagues came into work one day and she looked... Um, totally transformed actually. Um, she'd gone from wearing a very um, dark navy and fuchsia pink into some actually lovely um, autumn shades which somehow seemed to suit her and, and make her look 10 years younger. So when I asked her, you know, um, how she'd done it, she said, oh I've had my colours done. And I said, what's that, you know? Um, and so she started to tell me um, about her experience and her journey that she'd had with House of Colour. And it's just sounded so fantastic. Um, I've always had um, a massive interest in colour and clothes and shoes and shopping. It's been one of my hobbies. Um, so um, yeah, it just seemed the natural thing for me to do to, to go along and, f and follow Penny um, and start the House of journey, Colour journey as well. Lisa has been voted the top UK stylist for five years in a row at the House of Colour Annual Awards. Since starting 20 years ago, she says her clientele has changed and is no longer dominated by women in their 40s and 50s. I mean, obviously, I would say that this is for everybody. And we do actually do men and children as well. So you're never too uh, young or you're never too old to actually take this course. Um, I know I did my son when he was five years old. Um, and then I did him again at um, 10, 15 and 20, just to make sure that he hadn't actually changed. Um, and he was a winter throughout, um, well, he's 25 now, and he's still a winter, the same as myself. Um, so it never changes. So this is something that, you know, once you've had it done, um, it is a once in a lifetime. Getting your colours done involves seeing what colours suit you, what shapes you should wear and importantly what to avoid. But is it really something for children to be worrying about? I thought you might say that actually. Um, well, possibly not, no. Um, although I think when you are a mother and you've you've actually had your colours done yourself, you actually want all the people around you to look their best as well, you know. So, um, and my son now, you know, now he's got that knowledge, you know. Um, okay, you can say he's been brainwashed, but he actually really does enjoy shopping um, and choosing his, his right colours. And it's actually given him quite a lot of confidence at, at pro probably a young age. So, you know, when you're going for interviews, um, for jobs, um, you've probably got the upper hand to a certain degree because you're going to um, walk into the room and look a little bit more confident and possibly look um, a lot better than, your pre the, than the previous person. It actually enhances people's career as well. Um, quite a lot of my clients have gone on to better, bigger careers and salaries. Um, also, so yeah, it definitely improves people's confidence because I think if you look good, you feel good. Dressing to suit your body and skin tone can even help to make you appear more youthful. That's something that encouraged Lisa's client Linda to visit House of Colour when she turned 60. Um, I feel a lot more confident because what I find is sometimes you go into shops and you are just overcome by all the variety of colours and different shades of different things, of articles. At least now I have a direction as to what is suitable to me and which will actually enhance me rather than detract. So I feel a lot more confident and not so overwhelmed when I go shopping, I think. Oh, I'd highly recommend it, um, just for your confidence and just to help you look better and to present yourself better as well. As well as colour analysis, Lisa also offers makeup tutorials, personal styling and shopping to help men and women across Oxfordshire alike grow in confidence and style. Charlotte Winfield, for That's Oxfordshire.